all right sorry about that my I have to make it make this video in sections but just just to give you a general understanding of what's going on <clears throat> you, you kind of need to understand this this is a sine wave it's it's like a, a half circle and then you got the other half circle dipping downward if it was just a, a, a DC voltage then let's say a car battery is at 12 volts the it, the line would look like oh, sorry, I can't. the line would just be a flat line it would you know this would represent represent the time <clears throat> and then it would be a constantly at 12 volts no matter what time it is but this up here if if you want to draw this um, if you want to look at the sine wave let me get this right if you want to get the sine wave um, you you draw like a like if this is a y axis and this is the x axis right here then a function of y you don't really need to know this but i'm just teaching you this but uh let, let's just call this z and then you got your sine x plus or minus you got the phase shift plus or minus can't hold the paper here you got some dc voltage so basically what's going on is this this value this number whatever this number is in front of the sign if you see nothing in front of the sign that means this number is a one but this this represents like the amplitude so we got your amplitude right here which is z and then you got your sine wave and then inside here you got this x and that represents the degrees like zero degrees and so on and so forth so right here is at zero degrees and this one right here is at 360 degrees and then this phase angle right here that tells you how much to shift that way or this way if if it's a plus i'm sorry if, if this right here is a plus 30 degrees then your your sine wave the whole complete sine wave would shift to the left and then if this is a minus certain degrees it would shift towards the right that many degrees I don't know why it's going to be shoot anyhow then you got your why is it blurry? huh so anyways so you got your DC plus or minus DC offset so what this voltage here, this is another number, what this voltage here does. Uh, the way we look at it in the utility, the power, there is no DC offset. The middle of the sine wave right here is always at zero. But if this number to be like one, then all, the complete sine wave would shift up one amount. You know, like whatever this amount is would be z plus one so everything will be shifting up if this was minus some dc offset voltage then the whole entire sine wave would come down that much uh it would everything would shift down um so interesting, interesting thing to know So the interesting thing thing to know is that when you have so when you got when you got three phase power, there's your let's say we call this a phase, right? I'll use a different color, and then 120 degrees later, you got your b phase, right? And then about where's I'm sorry oh, I screwed this up so let's let's graph it again so your A phase let's say starts at zero let's call that A phase your B phase so right, right around here is 180 right around here is 90 so 120 should be actually right here right and then your C phase this is 180, C phase at what, 240, right? So this is 270 right here. So right around here is about two, 240, I guess. That would be color black. That's your C phase. Interesting thing 
is that um, well anyways your 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 a graph your a phase graph uh, would be let's just call it sine X your B your B phase graph would be sine X of minus 120 degrees right and your C phase graph is sine of X minus 240 degrees okay 